The rich and diverse variety of life on Earth, in all its forms, is the foundation of our well-being, providing food, clean water, air, and much of our energy. Biodiversity and nature's contributions to people are at the heart of not only our survival, however, but also of our cultures, identities, and enjoyment of life. Despite its critical importance, biodiversity continues to decline in every region of the world, endangering economies, livelihoods, food, water and energy security, and the quality of life of people everywhere. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, recently published four landmark regional assessment reports, one each for the Americas, Africa, Europe and Central Asia, and Asia and the Pacific. The result of three years of work by more than 550 leading experts from over 100 countries, the four IPBES reports are the most important expert contribution of the past decade to the state of knowledge about biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. The reports focus on answers to key questions about the importance of biodiversity, progress being made to conserve it, and the threats and opportunities for a sustainable future. With the best available information communicated effectively, people all over the world can make better decisions and take more effective action to meet global commitments such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the Aichi Biodiversity Targets, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Africa has significant natural assets underpinned by rich biodiversity. There are, however, more African plants and animals threatened today than at any time in the past. By 2050, Africa's current population is expected to double, while more than half of all African bird and mammal species may be lost before the end of the century due to climate change. In addition, significant losses of African plant species and a 20 to 30 percent drop in the productivity of Africa's lakes are likely. The IPBES report reveals that about 6.6 .6 million square kilometers of land in Africa is currently degraded and that the impact of natural drivers, such as diseases, pests, and natural disasters, has increased over the past 20 years, worsening climate impacts, land degradation, loss of habitat for migratory and other species, and loss of soil fertility, productivity, and economic opportunities. Such impacts threaten the food, water, energy, and health security of people across the continent. While some measures and interventions in Africa have resulted in positive changes, the IPBES report emphasizes the need for appropriate governance, policies and national implementation, more effective integration of indigenous and local knowledge, and better supported use of scenarios in decision-making if the region is to meet its sustainable development targets and commitments. The message from all four IPBES regional assessment reports is that, with the exception of some positive examples, biodiversity and nature's capacity to contribute to people are being degraded, reduced and lost due to a number of common pressures, including habitat stress, the over-exploitation and unsustainable use of natural resources, air, land and water pollution, increasing numbers and impacts of invasive alien species, as well as climate change, among others. The best available evidence, gathered by the world's leading experts, points us now to a single conclusion. We must act to halt and reverse the unsustainable use of nature, or risk not only the future we want, but even the lives we currently lead. Fortunately, the evidence also shows that we know how to protect and partially restore our vital natural assets. IPBES. Science and policy for people and nature.